this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. And I wasn't that been something. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Do what you want. Stay back. I just want to talk. It's good for you. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is Pete coming back with another awesome video and today we're gonna continue to play Days Gone. As always, the whole thing is gonna be in a card section so you guys can check it out, see what it is. But uh, yeah, you know, for those of you who followed uh, until now this story with me, uh, you, you guys know it's, it's amazing, I love this game. Uh, for all of you who are new to my channel, by the way, who just tuned in for the first time, I wanted to invite you to subscribe, and if you do subscribe, do not forget to hit that bell. And with that said, guys, let's go and do this. So, uh, <laughs> you caught me pausing. Uh, yeah, so I was uh, playing around with the photo mode here. The photo mode is ridiculous. I mean, the photo mode is actually ridiculous. I absolutely love it. I think the photo mode in this game is really, really good. I mean, most games they nowadays have a really nice photo mode, but this is something that I really like. You guys can uh, do a lot of cool effects with it. And, you know, there's some frames and stuff. Like, I'll show you real quick. So you got different frames and stuff like this, you know. Um, so, yeah, really, really cool effects, you know, for thumbnails or something. I don't know. Uh, just a personal thing, but it's really really cool. Anyways guys, so it's time to do some missions for hang on Let me just get out of this menu. Yo uh, Yeah, so we've just um, Delivered uh, in the previous part. We, we uh, Managed to save that girl uh, from from that town from that thing and we brought her back to Ada. There's no jobs available but uh, It appears we do have a job to do in Copeland, so we're gonna go there guys. We might even fast travel to be honest, but let's see what uh, if we, if we can, can talk to you? Tucker Can we? No, we can't. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's fine Can I help you? Hey, no, we can't just taking a look All right So we got some stuff also, I uh, updated our skills, so we got some extra skills now. Um, yeah, it's like really cool. But anyways, guys, let's flip in, do this. Uh, what I want to see is if we can go uh, to Copeland's, because it's far away. So it's a rifle, not a gun. Learn to track deer from Copeland. Okay, uh, that could be cool. Um, so I think we should fast travel there because otherwise it's gonna take forever to to go through and you know just just gonna do a, a bit of a fast one you know if it's possible because these gameplays I mean the last one was like really long so you know I don't want to make it too too long and yeah gonna get a sip of my coffee I'm gonna be getting into G Fuel let me know in the comment section guys if you tried G Fuel before because I stumble across all this and I'm like you know I'm kind of coffee addictive uh, addicted person and I thought to myself well instead of having a coffee I may as well go for the you know G Fuel um, but yeah Say, uh, Metolius Springs, Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? Yeah, Deacon. I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't, but with a little luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and... Give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. All right, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. Now, oh, Brian, I got some questions for you. See ya. See ya. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, I thought we were gonna go this way. 
Manny. What do you need? What's going on? Hey, how you doing? Jesus Let me sell this. Geek. You hear what's happening? Black choppers. The feds are still flying. Can you believe yeah. that shit? Yeah, I can. Wait, what? What are you talking about? No, Cope won't shut up about it. He says it proves what he has been saying from the start, that the feds are behind this whole mess. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All that conspiracy shit. You think he's right? Copeland right about anything? No, but listen to me. Hey, see ya. That's all I got for now. All right, cool. So we got some stuff. But anyways. I think I'd see you around so much. What's up? And really, Copeland doesn't have any jobs for us. Is that so? All right, whatever. What's up? Just um, looking. in that case, let's go. Hold on. I'll get it. But you know what? We should get maybe on the other side. Deacon. Uh, hold on. I'll get the. Gun. St. John, Tucker to Deacon St. John. We got a job for you. Hey, Already? Tucker. Okay, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Just left. Okay, so we got another whatever. Okay, we've arrived. I don't know. So are they still gonna be there or what? So they got a job for us. Okay, well it may be a good thing, you know. So you wanna learn how to hunt? That what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay. Pile of deer scat. It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. <sighs> I see him. Now, here, use my rifle. If you were in the Tenth Mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, oh, okay. I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Got him. Nice shot.
Okay. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer, and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you've got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad. For a beginner. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here. Thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Wait a sec, I got it. Okay, we got it, guys. We've completed the mission. We got some XP and everything. It's good stuff. Now. You, uh, need something, man? Manny. Track down the Nero agent, return to speak to talk to Tucker. Okay, so Tucker got some stuff for us, but we should probably... Um, uh, Yeah, we're here, so... We're gonna do that first. How's it going, booze man? God Fuck. damn. damn it. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. Could use some more meat if you get a chance. Shit, okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Uh, you remember what you're doing? Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Cope? Shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Deke. See you, booth man. All right, now I just gotta find some meat. Uh, deer, bear, wolf. Fuck, don't matter to me. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in the world. My first treehouse to use as a deer blind. Hidden height on the target helps your aim and keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from up top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. You want to survive and can contribute. You come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay an ambush. said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. Put a snare by a tree, and you could have dinner next time you come around. But careful. A headless snake can still bite, especially when it ain't really bad. My grandfather would have outlived us all. Let me tell you. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Great! Goats 
So you and your granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. That's real sporting. Uh, guess none of that shit matters now. Okay, let's see what it is. O'Brien, how much longer are we going to be out here? We're just getting started, so pull your jets, okay? Let me get back to work. O'Brien, this is going to be it. All right, let's go and get it. Uh, we gotta get to him. Alright, so we can't get caught by these guys at all. I thought we can kill him, you know? I wanted to take him down, but we can't really uh, do that. So just gonna have to... Uh, we're gonna have to try not to get caught at all. So, yeah. We'll see what it is. Making contact. You saw nothing. Ah, uh, we got him. Oh, we're 
it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, wasn't that been something? Uh-uh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub civilians! That I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like... Um, making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next night, with Nero Protocol 2 7 were states. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. Crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh-huh, and I'm going to go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't... Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're going to fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife... I put her on oxygen, I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic, she wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life! O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you. I don't care how long it takes, I'm gonna track you down. And I'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Okay. Five points. Fair point, guys. Making contact. There we go. We've done it. Ah, uh, we're getting low on meat. Let's quickly, um... Yeah, okay. Get some shut-eye booze, man. I'll tell you about it later. 
What are we riding out of here, Deke? <laughs> soon, loser. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, Deke. Okay. Here it is. O'Brien. Are you out there? O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Okay, you better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on, O'Brien! Get back to me. God damn it. We don't have a rifle, that's what it is. It's difficult without a rifle. Vagrant camp. Bastard from ambushing all the supply runs around here, haven't you? Ah, it's been shot. This is it. Which way? There you are. Get him! Marauders taking out a freaks. Yeah, go to it, fellas. Move! 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 Find cover! Nice. All right, it's getting late, guys. Oh, 
Come on, man. There we go. Now. Oh, you gotta be kidding, man. I gotta go more? Deke, you there? Did you track down the chopper? Was it the same guy, the one we saw on the roof that night? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. And did he remember us? Sarah, what happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He, he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened to her. You know, I... You don't think she's still alive? What? No. I mean, no, look, I'm not stupid, Boozer. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her, where she died. Well, hey, maybe you can finally, I don't know, find some peace. I don't need to find any peace, Jesus, Boozer. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. God damn. Wow. We gotta get to our bike and what? Let's get out of here, guys. I don't know. Where the hell is our bike? Wow, we went quite far from our bike, to be honest. Come on, get on that goddamn bike. Where is our bike? Jesus. Ah, we're getting somewhere. All right, let's do this.
There we go. Another 20 points. XP points. All right, let's get, um, we're getting low on fuel, guys. That's not good. Another one. I guess that's it. That's all of the meat we need. Ah, fresh meat. Nice. That ought to do it. Okay, I just gotta get this back to Boozer. Now. Not very far, so we should make it. And then at home we've got... Uh, fuel and everything, so that should be all good. And just beforehand, guys, you know, we've got this. Ah, brilliant. So now we can craft some more. Bolts and everything. You know, now I'm gonna feel a lot better out there. Let me tell you this. Uh, also, before we get to Boozer, let's get that gas can and let's top it up. Let's top that bike up, guys. Oh my goodness, we were down to 24. Can you believe it? That's some crazy shit. Let me tell you this. Ah, right, that should be good. Let's see. Let's go. All right, brilliant. So, to be honest with you, um, it's not bad. I mean, it appears that. We can really sort of like go for it and drive our bike really aggressively and it doesn't really lose much uh, energy and stuff. No, no energy, but it doesn't basically, we, we don't get to screw it too much, you know? So that's a good thing. All right, we got some bandages, got some stuff. Man, I like it when we are full of stuff. Brilliant. Let's go to see um, how Boozer is feeling, you know, how he's doing and everything. And let's get these Molotovs ready. See, I like to have everything more or less prepared and ready. So when we go um, to, you know, to do stuff, we can do stuff. Ah, brilliant. Boozman, how you doing, my bro? Hey, we got some ammo. Can get it. Nice. Nice. How you doing, man? How's your hand, man? 
Man, you don't look too well, to be honest. Hey, booze man. I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll salt it up in a bit. He was all shaking and everything, man. Like he was in some convulsions or something. I don't know, man. That's crazy shit, man. Anyways, guys, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna end this episode right here. And yeah, we're just gonna continue in the next one. Pretty cool episode though, you know, we've we've done a couple of things. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and also share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys pretty soon with another video. Pete out. Peace.